students welcome back to online learning of mathematics last time we have learned properties of angles formed by two parallel lines and a transversal today let us learn practice set 2.2 of our textbook now question number 1 first sum here line m is parallel to line n and line p is a transversal we have to find the value of x now here 3x and x form an interior angles so according to the property of interior angles the interior angles are supplementary that is the sum of the angles is 180 degrees therefore 3x plus x is equal to 180 degrees so when we add 3x plus x we will get 4x so 4x is equal to 180 degrees therefore our x is equal to 45 degrees now in question number 1 second sum to solve this sum we have taken few points on the lines here measure of angle uvs is equal to measure of angle puv as they are alternate angles according to the property of alternate angles the alter the measures of alternate angles are same therefore measure of angle uvs is equal to measure of angle puv which is equal to 4x now angle uvs and angle wvs are in linear pair that is measure of angle uvs plus measure of angle wvs is equal to 180 degrees now let us substitute the values of these angles therefore 4x plus 2x is equal to 180 degrees so 4x plus 2x will give us 6x therefore 6x is equal to 180 degrees therefore the value of x here is 30 degrees now let us solve sum number 2 so to solve this sum we have taken angle z and angle w in the given figure now here line p is parallel to line q and line t is a transversal here measure of angle z is equal to 40 degrees because it's an corresponding angle now angle x and angle z are the angles in a linear pair therefore 
measure of angle X plus measure of angle Z will be equal to 180 degrees. Here we know the value of angle Z which is 40 degrees. So we will substitute the value of angle Z here. So in the next step it will be measure of angle X plus 40 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, measure of angle X we will get as 140 degrees. Now, measure of angle W plus 70 is equal to 180 degrees because they are the angles in a linear pair. Therefore, measure of angle W is equal to 110 degrees. Now, let us see line P is parallel to line Q and line S is a transversal. Therefore, angle measure of angle Y is equal to measure of angle W because they are alternate angles. Measure of angle W we have calculated as 110 degrees. Therefore, measure of angle Y will also be equal to 110 degrees. Now, in sum number 3, so, when line P is parallel to line Q and line L is a transversal, measure of angle A plus 80 degrees will be equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because they are interior angles and interior angles are supplementary. Therefore, measure of angle A is equal to 100 degrees. Now, measure of angle D is also equal to 80 degrees because they are alternate angles. When line L is parallel to line M and line Q is a transversal, Measure of angle B will be equal to measure of angle D because they are corresponding angles and the measures of corresponding angles are same. Therefore, measure of angle B is equal to 80 degrees. When line P is parallel to line Q, and line M is a transversal, measure of angle C is equal to measure of angle B because they are corresponding angles. Therefore, measure of angle C is equal to 80 degrees. In next online lecture, we will learn to draw a line parallel to the given